This is Joe Krug from FinSuite covering the slider component in the FinSuite CMS library. We're in the live example going over the slider component. In this video, we learn how to add interactions to your dynamic slider created with CMS library. This is only covering the Webflow interactions portion. If you have not seen example one, if you have not already set up your slider, please go back to example one, check out how this works. We're only covering the interaction portion of this. Here inside the live example, if I hover over each project, you will see a nice simple mouse movement. You'll also see an in and out effect. Awesome. So this is working flawlessly with the library and we're going to go through to make sure that this is applied correctly. We'll go inside designer and the first thing that we will look at is the slide change trigger. If I go and select the slider slide and then I go to interactions element trigger, I have the option to add a slider change. Note that if I'm on a different component here, even the slider component itself, this doesn't allow me to select it. So here we're on the slider slide. We're going to have that option now to select this. Great. We've already created one. So let's go inside of the slider change interaction here. And it's a very simple interaction. It doesn't really matter what you do here. This is going to scale both of these at different transitions and different easings. And what you really need to understand is that this has to be applied on the class level. Trigger all elements with the same class. If you only apply this to the element level, when we go to add new slides, they will not be affected. It will only be on this one slide or these dummy slides that you have in designer. So please go ahead and make sure you apply this to the class level for when we duplicate multiple slides. Next, we have an interaction, a mouse move over element on our slider. This is copied to slide. This again has to be applied at the class level, trigger all elements with the same class. If you only apply this to the element level, it will only happen to this first slide or your dummy slides inside designer. We go and apply it to the class level. And now when we go and add all of our slides and add all of our content to the published site, they will all get this interaction. And that's all you need to know to be able to add interactions to the dynamic slider that you created with CMS library. That's effing sweet.